Hello everybody, I'm the secret daughter of Jeb Bush. Welcome back, I'm on the table. <laughs> now I'm gonna touch this thing. That was not touching. It's too dim, make it brighter. <laughs> what, what the fuck do you think? There is that exact same thing, not even five feet in front of you. One more lamp that you need to light. I wonder where it <laughs> is. I wonder. Donald, you're a fucking stupid idiot. <laughs> Could it be here, perhaps? <clears throat> All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. That I'd like to point out, this didn't make any like lighting. Shadow change. the Hedgehog. He's They'll arise shadow. in this room, but somewhere else. Also, if these lamps are like on the Shadows ceiling, the door too. What? These lamps are on the ceiling. We're on the ceiling right now. Why is it that the fire is still going up for us when we are not up? On that note, why are the lamps pointed downward? That's a good question. That is a terrible way to keep your lamps fixated. This is not very fuel efficient. Anyway, so you said you wanted to show off... Yeah, let's look a little bit the, into the... the... The story of Sora. Sora. <laughs> a boy born and raised on an island, dreamed of seeing the outside world. He and his friends Riku and Kairi began building a raft with which to sail away. Come sail away with me, you guys. One day, Sora ventured into the island's secret cave and met a stranger who had come from beyond the door, whatever that means. That night, disaster struck Sora's island. Riku and Kairi disappeared, and Sora was left with a mysterious weapon. With it, he defeated monsters that had suddenly appeared everywhere, spawned from an enormous sphere of darkness. But the darkness swallowed the island. And killed everything. <laughs> I think. Meanwhile, Disney Castle was in an uproar. King Mickey had vanished, leaving only a note behind. With this sole clue, Donald and Goofy set out to find him. Somehow, Sora ended up in a place called Traverse Town, where he met Leon, Aerith, and Yuffie, and learned about the Heartless, Beings of Darkness, and the secret behind his weapon, the Keyblade. <laughs> it is the key to unlocking some great power. Who could have guessed? <laughs> Before long, Sora also met Donald and Goofy, who were looking for Leon, and joined forces with them. Did they ever actually, like, meet up with Leon, or were they not ever in the same They were place? in the same room at, like, the last bit. Because <laughs> I don't remember them having more than, like, a passing glance at each other. Right. So anyway, there's that. Um, now I have to get on the floor roof. Well, at least we know where the floor roof is. Um, I would go through the only exit that we can find. Yeah, I'd imagine I have to, like, go back into the room, but the other entrance. Right. Or whatever. Wait, there's a treasure chest to your right. That is not the right. It is the right. <coughs> Thundara G. That's I don't a know gummy what that ship. Is. That's a gun for your gummy ship. You're one step closer to- I want that to... thing. You gotta figure out how to get over there. I have an idea, but I don't think it will work. In fact, I am almost certain it won't work. It did not work. <laughs> oh, right. <that's clears throat> I'm gonna do this. Because I've learned that saving like a maniac <laughs> is, um... Is a good thing. That. And also that, like, heals or something, right? Yes. It heals you and restores your, uh, MP. You'll have a better view from higher up. Well... But what if I want a better view from lower down? What if I don't give now, a shit? Does that mean that I need to be bigger, or that I just need to go higher in the room? Because that that could easily mean either of those.
The shadows should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst? <laughs> if not, too bad. His head does not match his body well enough. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, it's a boss! <clears throat> Is this Paper Mario? Sort of. Looks like it. Okay, that was a weird, like, cut in the music. Wow, that was some precise hitting. He's been moving. You gotta hit him in the crotch. I don't know if that is what that counts as. If I'm honest. You gotta hit him in the fore crotch. Or the chest, I guess. So... What I've learned is basically just I need to use the table to jump at his face. Yes. Or maybe this thing over here. He's not close enough to that, really, though. You'll get a better view of the shadows from higher up. See, on some level, that does make sense. Yeah? I apparently can also just, like, jump straight to the, uh, table. Huh. So far, so good. I haven't died yet, so... There's that. I would do some magic real quick. Just get some hits in from farther away. I don't think that's the one to do that with. Um, fire was like a fireball, yeah? Yeah. You should probably get him within targeting range first, though. I'm trying. I've... Was it? It was that one. Okay. Yes. I keep wanting to hit the lower ones for these things because I'm used to um, Zelda. Grab the fucking table. Oh, that did. Jack shit, sorry. So, thanks for that advice, but I'm gonna stick to uh, beating the shit out of him like I was. Poor Donald, he's dead. So, question, is the music coming from that guy? <coughs> I don't think so. But I won't rule it out as a possibility. Because he does, like, have music notes or whatever coming out of him sometimes. Yeah. So. But that wouldn't explain all the music that happens when it's another boss. I also have not registered that the music is, uh, the same, so... Hey, Donald's alive. Cool. Kick his ass, Donald. Really use that table back. There's a chair. That chair isn't gonna help for shit. You'd be surprised. Thanks for that. That would be a good time for one of those potions. He's, uh... Pretty fire-happy right now. That, but also he's surprisingly, like, <coughs> not good at, um... Aiming with projectiles, it seems. Well, when oh. you have... <laughs> okay. <laughs> that works. When you have fucking flimsy legs and flimsy arms, what are you gonna do with your life? Oh, I guess... Goofy helped us out there. Come on. Come on. Do you get a, um, double jump at any point? You get a high jump. Close enough. That... Oh, this is spinning. Okay. That messed me up for a second. I thought I was just freaking out. So can he, like, come over here, maybe? 
Because <laughs> that'd be great. Or something like that. He likes that stove. Yeah. Also, another question. Um, does this have does this have um, RPG-ish elements like uh, different actual elements have different uh, weaknesses or whatever? Grab the table. Possibly. You fucking. I don't remember. It somewhat does in later stuff, I think. But I think for the most part in this one, it's just like use what's convenient. So, in other words, use fire pretty much exclusively. <coughs> Until you get Thundaga, yeah. Because. <laughs> okay. That also is weird to me. What is? Like, the way it just ends, um, boss battles huh. like that. Like, there's another game that does something like that, and I can't, for the life of me, remember what it is, but... Do you think that any of the faces on that thing are, like, actually, like, sentient outside of it? Ifrit's horn. Yes. What do I do with that? It's an accessory. Mm. What a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? Mm. Fucking, I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna stick my key in it. <coughs> I'm gonna stick my key in it! I don't really know if that counts. I was more like shooting some sort of beam. <laughs> Indeed, what was that? Sounded like something closed. I would say the opposite, but okay. What is that? It's a gummy piece. This gummy ain't like the others, no sir. It. Okay. Okay, I'll hold on to it. That's probably important. <laughs> Splendid, you're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. Thanks. She's gone. Off with the shadows into the darkness. Okay. No. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We've got to go to a save point to return to our ship. So, <clears throat> was that like all of Wonderland? Yes. Where was this save point? I don't remember it's this. It's the very beginning. So that first, then, because I don't want to fuck anything up. Cool. Oh, wait. Press square to go to the gummy garage. Okay. So is this where, like, cutting will happen then? <coughs> For me to, like, look at this shit? This is more or less gonna be a penis rocket. <laughs> it seems. I'm fine with that. We're gonna st we're gonna have to stare at this shit. <laughs> For, like, minutes at a time. Correction. You will have to. Because I am just playing. You're the one that has to... No, no, no. I mean, like, when ship. we actually fucking fly the ship. Oh, yeah, I'm cool with that. <laughs> this looks rad. This is the definition of rad. Look at it. Sure. If you look up rad in any sort of dictionary at all, you will instantly get a picture of this ship that I just <laughs> made. Don't ask me how they got a picture of it before I made it. 
to like have ready, but trust me. All right, well, that's the high wind now. I think uh, Riku would be proud. <laughs> Riku's gonna fucking kick your ass for doing this to his ship. Um, to yeah, his, his, ship, his ship he didn't know about. <laughs> his ship he doesn't ever fly. His or ship know that exists. he does not own and also does not know of. <laughs> Hello, everybody, we're back. You get to see a treat. All right. You get to see a treat. Um, so you can I go forget. to the left one. Oh, right, one, or it's the... this thing. I keep forgetting that because I want to use the D pad. Okay, so. I would go to the one on the left. That one's a battle rating, too, or whatever, so. Yeah. Do I have to go here first and then here? Is that how that works? Possibly. Uh. You guys get to see the thing now. <laughs> it's a uh, beautiful ship. Riku would be proud, he named it. <laughs> um, I would try to get more of those, but I honestly can't fucking control this ship. <laughs> Because, uh, have you tried moving it? Um, not the one that you've built yet. Just any of these ships, like any ship in this game. They all control, give or take, the same. Because, uh, right and left are pretty much the only ones that do what I think they should do. Making it go, um, slowly actually seems to give me much better control over it. <laughs> With the, uh, drawback that I am now going slow when I do that. Also, I like being able to see. So, uh, how are you enjoying your guns? Um, I like the spread shot. I don't know which one of them is doing that, but... <clears throat> you know, one of them. Right. Cool. Um. You burned a trophy test pilot. Yay. Uh, first district, I guess. Not really that it matters, because... We're, we're leaving anyway. I'm leaving immediately. I'm gonna save, and then... Uh, fucking bail. <laughs> and then probably next episode will be at, uh, whatever thing. I found a Trinity marker. I got money. Got shitloads of money. But, uh, where's the... Oh, that's a, that thing. But yeah, this is probably a good place to call it, maybe. I don't know how much time was yeah, like, I mean, cut I get, from the thing. Worst case scenario, I can put some of the funnier things that were said into the... in between the cut. So. Show the process of the ship being made. Because I'm sure everyone is interested in that. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I've been Cat. I am Blues. We spent, like, 20 minutes on that. <coughs> yeah, we did. Because I saved immediately after the boss, yeah? Yes. Cool. Oh, God, man. Back to the gummy ship. 